difference between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Previously, all living organisms were classified into plant and animal kingdom. But it has long been proven that living organisms are far more complex. A common example of it is the existence of microorganisms like parasites, fungi, bacteria and even viruses that are very different from plants and animals. After the development of molecular biology and the knowledge of genes have increased, scientists classified the living organisms into two super kingdoms, named prokaryote and eukaryote. The fundamental difference is that prokaryotes, such as bacteria, do not have a nucleus. The word pro meaning before and karyon meaning nucleus. Bacteria are also, on average, about 1 to 10 times smaller in volume than eukaryotes because of the small functions. Their structures are also simple. The genetic material of prokaryotes is present freely in the cytoplasm. Together with few organelles, prokaryotes have slightly smaller ribosomes, about 18 nanometer in diameter, also denoted as 18S. None of the organelles are membrane-bound. Their cell wall functions as a protection from the external environment. The U in eukaryote means true, and carrion, like we mentioned before, means nucleus. So as the name suggests, eukaryotes have a nucleus, or more than one nuclei in their cells, and their genetic material resides inside it. Their ribosomes are slightly larger, about 22 nanometer in diameter, which in most cases is attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is a major organelle that is responsible for protein transportation and synthesizing lipids and some hormones. As eukaryotes are like complex biological factories, many types of cell organelles are present and each is responsible for different functions. Similarity between animal and plant cells. Both animal and plant cells are surrounded by a thin, semi-permeable membrane called plasma membrane. Surrounding all the organelles is the cytoplasm, a jelly-like substance that covers the whole cell from the plasma membrane to the nucleus. Both plant and animal cells have them. They both also have organelles. Organelles are there to conduct different functions in the cell, same as our organs perform different functions throughout the body. For example, both types of cell have nucleus which can be seen clearly under the light microscope, as it is darkly coloured due to the chromatin material inside it. Chromatin is the genetic material that is made up of loosely coiled threads of DNA. Inside the nucleus, we can see an even deeply coloured stain, and this structure is called the nucleolus, which is made of loops of proteins, DNA and RNA. The mitochondria is a specialised organelle to conduct aerobic respiration. Organelles can also move about, change shape, divide and are abundant in the cell. You see, both the animal and plant cells are such fascinating factories. Differences between animal and plant cells A structure present in animal cells and not in plant cells is the centriole. Under the microscope, centrioles look like small structures close to the nucleus. Plant cells are usually larger than animal cells and are surrounded by a thick, rigid cell wall. This is why they can be seen more easily under a light microscope than an animal cell. The cell wall gives the plant cell a definite shape, preventing the cell from bursting when it enters by osmosis. Plant cells have another interesting structure, the plasmodesmata. The plasmodesmata is like a road connecting a neighbourhood together. Substances sent to neighbouring cells with the help of cytoplasm, which pass through pore-like structures in the cell walls. Plant cells also have large vacuole that covers most of the cell. It is filled with fluid of mineral salts, sugars, oxygen, carbon dioxide and even waste products. Some pigments that give colour to fruits and vegetables are also located in vacuoles. Did you know that the pigment of the red colour of beetroot is also located in vacuoles? In plant cells, the vacuole is also surrounded by a membrane called the tonoplast that controls exchanges between the vacuole and the cytoplasm. Most plant cells also bear chloroplasts that help them carry out the process of photosynthesis. Animal cells do not have this. 